Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Mercedes 560 SEC, so the um, the biggest SEC uh, that they did. Got my phone ring. Um, either 88 or 89 on an F, I can't recall, um, but certainly on an F plate. Finished in pearl grey with uh, beige full leather interior, obviously total spec on these. Um, unlike a lot of them, it hasn't been sort of pimped up, in other words, it's got it's standard it's uh, not got funny grills on it or um, funny alloys or stuff like that it's uh, it's all exact as it left the factory um, MOT to December 2010 tax till the end of June 2010 166,000 miles um, substantial service history I'll have to go through it but uh, I think it's onto its second book actually in terms of service history um, but say completely standard car in pearl grey we'll go around it and point out the good bits and the bad bits um, and uh, and you can decide basically. Okay, from the front end, uh, the the bonnets are alloy on these, as is the boot lid. Uh, it is starting to get a little bit of reaction on the bonnet. Um, there's a bit of reaction just coming up uh, there under the paint on the uh, offside front edge of the bonnet. hasn't broken through the paint though, um, and a bit on the near side front of the bonnet here that has sort of broken through, and uh, a big section of paint has come off, which is uh, normal on uh, alloy skinning. That's it there, and it's also got some uh, reaction around the um, uh, head, head around the windscreen washers, uh, just bubbling up there. Um, carrying back around the front, all oh, the chrome is really, really nice on this one. The grille is good. Uh, it's a bit of uh, rust coming through just here under the offside front headlamp, just there, um, and there's also a bit more reaction around just underneath the grille section here on the uh, on the bonnet itself. Front bumper looks pretty good. There's a couple of uh, Minor scuffs, just one there and one there, just above the number plate. Um, another tiny one there, and there's a small, very small scuff on the near side front bumper corner. Um, near side front wing it is the area that is always suffer from on the on the front wings. Uh, has started to bubble up and sort of delaminate a bit. It's rusting there under the indicator. Uh, it's also bubbling up quite a lot here, just on the the base of the wing, going up into the arch a bit more there and a bit more there. Uh, a bit more here on the back of the arch where the paint's actually come off a little bit there a little bit of bubbling just there on the uh, where it goes into the rubbing strip um, all the paint on this one incidentally i think the paint is original um, i don't think it's ever been repainted so sort of what you see is what you get if you like um, screen on the passenger side very nice no problems there uh, the roof is good the sunroof's nice i've got it folded back at the minute or slid back but that's all good as well uh, roof's all nice all the, as you can see all the windows works so we've got all the windows down to photograph it and stuff um, that's all all super passenger door there's a sort of a one inch long scratch just uh, there um, on the front of the near side front door a tiny bit of bubbling just under the paint just there where it joins the rubbing strip and that's it inside here the interior is really nice on this one actually Really rather nice, especially considering the mileage. It shows how well they're built. Um, everything's there. There's a few holes in the uh, the near side of the centre console where it's had, uh, looks like a couple of car phones in its time. But uh, all the door cards are all nice. That one, so the trim just needs fitting back in there. That's it. Um, passenger seat is nice. A couple of sort of tiny marks on it just there and things. But uh, overall very good. In the back there, that's all good as well. Looks like it's barely been sat in the back as you'd expect. Carrying on round, near side rear wing, we've got uh, bubbling under the paint and it's cracked a little bit just there on the back of the near side front, on the front of the near side front, near side rear arch, just there. Um, carrying on round here, chrome on the near side rear bumper, there's a tiny pimple of rust just coming up just there, but otherwise so the chrome's uh, pretty good. Um, near side bumper corner's good, there's a couple of tiny scratches just here in the paint just above the near side rear indicator. Rear screen is all good. Boot lid once again is alloy on these, so it's starting to get a bit of reaction here, just around the uh, the badge area, and there, and there, and there. It's bubbling under the paint a bit. Rear bumper, um, there's a small sort of blemish, about an inch long, just there, um, and it has got uh, a parking scuff on the offside rear corner, just uh, there, sort of thing. That's quite a heavy scuff. It's gone right through to the. Um, taking the paint clean off actually from about there and there um, on the offside rear corner hasn't dented or anything it's just scuffed it and a slight scuff just here once again on the offside rear valance just there 
Um, looking down the offside, all looks uh, pretty straight in terms of parking dents. I didn't do the near side actually, let's do that one right here. Yeah, parking dent wise, it's, uh, it's very, very good. All the rubbing strips around the bottom tend to protect them quite well from that point of view. Um, offside rear wing, pretty good actually. Uh, no, that's fine. Tiny, tiny bit of bubbling just starting to come up just there, but very, very tiny. So I'm pretty picky on this sort of thing, but uh, um, roof is nice. Offside front door, um, there's bubbling coming up and it's lost a bit of paint just here. I suspect that's been touched in actually um, thereafter, but bubbling just around there, around the trailing edge of the door. Uh, and on the leading edge of the door, just here where it makes the rubbing strip, once again that's bubbling. I suspect that has been touched in as well just there. Um, but that's bubbling there, as is the, the offside front wing just there as well. Ooh. We'll come back to the inside of the driver's side in a minute. Driver's side screen, very good. It's a tiny, looks like a filled in chip just there, but it's way too small to bother the MOT man. It's absolutely miniature, and so it looks like it's been uh, properly injected. Um, offside front wing, bubbling slightly under the paint just there, um, and quite heavy bubbling here around, same again, on the, uh, the front corner. Um, looks like it's been touched in. It doesn't look like it's been filled or anything. That all looks, uh, so it's rusting a bit around there uh, and around the, the headlight. And there's a touched in bumper scuff on the offside front corner there. Um, go back to the inside on the driver's side. Driver's seat's very, very good indeed. A little bit of scuffing on the bolster, but no more than that. Bottom bolster's very good. That's all really nice. Dash is super. Um, you know, it, it, in, interior wise, it's, it's absolutely fabulous. Just uh, say. So. Some people might just want to do a little bit of uh, work on the, on the bodywork, especially around the front wings. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. End.